So the first time I tried this, I used some flashing. And the aluminum flashing just wasn't stiff enough to keep its shape. So I tried bending the flashing and folding it over four times. Then it was stiff enough to keep the shape, but it broke after about two weeks of use. So I went to a big box hardware store and bought the smallest strip of aluminum they had, which was a half inch wide by a sixteenth of an inch thick. Then I uh, center punched it and I'm gonna drill out the holes. I'm using a small bit. This bit is the 564, five but uh, any small bit will work. Then you can cut it to length. This flat piece of metal is going to have to be bent to the contour of your nose. It's going to take a little trial and error. The first one I sewed it on and then I bent it in place. This time I'm going to try to bend it in place and then sew it on. And I'm going to bend the ends just a little bit so that it doesn't poke my uh, face. And this seems to fit fairly comfortably. The first nose piece that I made, I sewed onto the mask before I flattened it out. And I just flattened it by my hand and you can see it's a little pointy here as where this end's contoured, but it works just fine. And now this bows out at the bottom, this didn't, and it doesn't hurt my face. Hey, okay, the next step is to find the center of the mask. This is the center of the top part. Then line the center of the nose piece up of the mask and then sew it on like you would sew on a button. On the first one I sewed it while the nose piece was still flat and it was easier to sew that way than it is uh, this way. Putting uh, paper clips on the end to hold it uh, helps. This mask is two layers of materials. On the inside, I have a thick piece of cotton. On the outside, I have this fake fur. And there's a couple of reasons why I picked the fake fur. It's a very thick material, has lots and lots of fibers, and I think it looks nice. I'm going to blow as hard as I can to see if I can blow this candle out. And compare that to the N95 mask. More air comes out of the N95 mask and it also leaks around my nose so my glasses fog up. 